I'm sure I will warm up pretty soon as soon as I start moving, but for now I'm actually wearing my shirt. I hope you had a chance to go outside today. After the rain, the air is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My cats are going to be helping me. It's going to be yoga with cats. I hope you don't mind. So we did a really hard class this morning. My legs are really tired. And what we'll do today, a couple of different salutations, but we will definitely prepare for both of them properly. And the first one is going to be our sun salutation, which is a classic in yoga. And all right, we're pretty much ready to go. Yep. So the first one is going to be sun salutation. You've done this one with me uh, many times. And we're going to take it easy. We're going to prepare for it. We're going to warm up nicely. Then the second one is going to be our moon salutation. And you may or may not have done it with me. It is actually a more calming salutation because it is presumably made in or done rather in the evenings you uh, greet the sun the sun in the morning and you greet the moon at night and it is supposed to calm our nerves and calm our bodies so we shall see it's still pretty hard because there's a lot of flexibility that is um, involved but we'll see how you like it all right we're going to actually start today in the tabletop position. So kind of gently move side to side. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders, your knees are right underneath your hips. And we're gonna start moving gently forward and back just to warm up our wrists. Keep your shoulders away from your ears as always. Your neck is a continuation of your spine. Start to find your breathing here. Good, wonderful. So go ahead and rotate your left hand so that the fingertips are now pointing towards your left knee and your palm is still pointing, uh, is still on the floor. And again, gently move side to side and forward and back just to open things up. And in general, keep in mind that this is a really wonderful stretch for the wrist and for the forearm. It's a good one to remember if you're a little tired in your hands. And let's switch. So left hand goes back into classic position. Rotate your right one. And once again, side to side, forward and back. And as always, we're holding on to three breaths. Shoulders happy. Just consider this a waking up even though it is the middle of the day, but we are on this, what I want to call the island of sanity. Go ahead and release that, wonderful. And now, place your hands perhaps just a little tiny bit further forward, just a little bit to kind of give ourselves a little space. And drop your hips gently down, opening up, and coming back almost right away, and with an exhale, bring your hips back. Don't go all the way into the child's pose. Just go just enough to feel a nice stretch in your shoulders and then come forward once again. Roll your shoulders back and drop your hips down. And again, inhaling and with an exhale, going as far back as you need to keep your arms still active. Good. And once again, all the way forward, rolling shoulders back, dropping the hips down and coming back this time we're going to rest in child's pose for one full breath maybe gently shifting our hips to side to side and then from here walk your hands to the left bring your right hand on top of your left hand and drop your chest and your head for two more breaths connect with your breath observe your body relax through your neck Feeling good, wonderful. And from here, walk your hands to the right side, align your chest with your right knee. Now place your left hand on top of your right. Good, rest. Rest here, two more breaths. If it helps and if you can, 
shift your hips just a tiny bit to the left, away from your hands. One more breath. Very nice. Walk your hands forward. Again, reach, feeling that the both sides of your body under your arms are a little bit tiny, 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 tiny bit more open. Inhale and with an exhale, lift up. Draw your hips down, drop them, roll your shoulders back with an inhale. We're gonna stay here now for a little bit and maybe shift your hips gently side to side. This is a small movement. Just to open up your hip flexors and start feeling that your hip flexors are opening and your lower back is a little bit more flexible. Good. After your third breath, shift your hips back up into tabletop position. If you need to reposition your hands, please do. Remember the, you know, a whole bunch of these adjustments depend on how long your arms are vis-a-vis -vis your torso. So there are no rules. The rule is to make yourself feel good and injury free. Drop your chin down, round your back, pull that navel into your lower back, really, really press it out, good. Roll your shoulders back, drop your belly, and your tailbone is up. Keep pulling your shoulders back. Make it all easy. In this position, go ahead and shift your left hip towards your left shoulder, your left shoulder towards your left hip. So you're still arching in the back and you're also bringing close your left hip and your left shoulder. And now let's switch. And it's your right one that goes toward your right hip and vice versa. So the left side of your body now is really long and the right one is really short. Let's come back to left hip to left shoulder. And one last time, right to right. Good, come back to center, round your back this time. And you really wanna tuck your tailbone under, opening up the distance between your shoulder blades. Tuck your chin or just drop your head and start to move your body gently forward and back. It's a small movement. Just enough to feel a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. One more time. Very nice. And from here, bring your shoulders back, arch your back, but not too much, just a little bit, just enough to feel that your chest is open and drop your elbows on the floor. And lift up again. And remember, when you lift them up, you really want to make sure that your elbows do not go apart. So you're dropping them down on the floor and you're lifting them up, you're pressing into your hands and your elbows never go out. One more time, please. Inhaling, dropping down. Press into your hands and lift. Very nice. Now we're going to go ahead and bring our hips forward again into our high cobra. And let's roll our shoulders here. So you're going to sink into your shoulders as they come all the way up. Then you're going to bring those shoulders back and lift. And again. Sink into your shoulders, bring your shoulders back, and lift. One more time. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice, wonderful. Come back into tabletop position. Reach your right arm out and reach that hand toward the ceiling as much as possible. Big twist in spine. We're going to reverse that twist by threading this right arm under your left one, placing your right ear on the floor. We've done this as a stretch. Stay one more breath, and we will do that two more times, and for which, for which we're gonna have one breath. Ready? Press into your left hand, release. And again, right arm up with an inhale. Open, 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 and with a long exhale, we're going under. And again, start to inhale as you open up. And there's your exhale as you're diving in. Beautiful. Bring your right hand on the floor. Let's try it slow with several breaths on the other side. Reach your left arm as high up as possible. Maybe look at that left thumb. 
Shoulders are far away from your ears. Good. And from here, let's reverse that by rounding the back and rotating your spine in the opposite direction. The left ear now is on the left shoulder. And we're breathing here, opening up and trying to figure out how deep we're going to go into it. Good. And now we're going to start that movement, which will align with our breathing. Ready? Press into your right hand. Inhale, 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 inhale. Open up. And exhale, dive in. Inhale once again, open up. And exhale, dive in. And coming all the way back up. And hands are back on the floor. Please try and remember how you felt when we were doing this. Good. Drop your elbows down to the floor just like we did a minute ago. Roll your shoulders back, your back is slightly arched, not crazy arched, just slightly. And press your chest forward and back. This one I want you to feel in your triceps, two more times. This is your exhale, just go as far as you feel comfortable. And this is your inhale, one more time. Wonderful. Now lift your elbows halfway only. And once again, press your chest forward and down. And then from here, all the way up. There you go. This is our nice and beautiful first part of our Chaturanga. We'll come back to it several times. And now we're going to prepare both our legs and our lower back. So first thing first, find your way into forward fold. Staying here. Relax through your lower back. Relax through your shoulders. All right, I'm warmed up, perfect. Your hips, your um, uh, feet are hip width apart now. Don't fight with balancing here. Gently sway side to side. And now go ahead and pull your shoulders back. So you're in this forward fold. Place your hands together and bring them to your heart center. Good. From here, you're going to take a nice long inhale. And with an exhale, lift your spine halfway through. Standing tabletop, but your hands are now at your heart. Good. Inhale. And with an exhale, lift all the way into mountain pose. Very nice. Reach your hands, still folded, all the way up. Lean back if you can. And forward fold. Keep your hands together. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice. Drop your head. Don't drop your shoulders. Inhale, exhale halfway. Should start feeling your hamstrings here. Inhale, and exhale, come all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms, arch your back as far as you possibly can, and start your exhalation as you're going into forward fold. Your back is active, and we're activating hamstrings again. One last time, inhale, and with an exhale, halfway, shoulders back, back is strong, inhale. And exhale all the way up, reach your arms up, 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 arch your back. And this time, we're going to release our arms and we're going to go into our swan dive. Yay, beautiful. If you cannot touch the floor, use whatever props you're using. We're going to bend our left knee. We're going to keep our left hand on the floor. Another rotation. Right arm is reaching as far toward the ceiling as possible. You're breathing. Your body's open. Your spine is long. One more breath. Wonderful. Next inhale. Reach one more time. Fingertips away from each other. And with an exhale, bring your right hand down on the floor, under your chest, bend your right knee this time, pull your shoulders back, 
and continue to open up to the left side of the body. So arms are a continuation of each other. If it feels okay, look up at your left thumb. If it doesn't, if your neck is not happy with that, please don't. Reach with your next inhale, as far fingertips from each other as possible, and with an exhale, return back. Good, wonderful. From here, walk your hands once again toward the front of the mat. Good, 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 good. good. Find your way into your kneeling position. Roll your shoulders back, chaturanga. Inhale, very nice. Bring once again your hips back into tabletop position. Bring your right foot forward between your hands. Hamstrings are open. Now let's go ahead and work on our quads. We need that. Open up through your chest. This should not be very hard. This is a good time to prepare your props if you're not quite ready with both your hip and your left hip quads. Remember, there's a lot, a lot of it is just warming things up. Left hand remains on the floor, right arm reaches as far away from your left as possible. And then you're gonna bring your right arm behind you. Look over your right shoulder, align your right arm with your left leg, which is on the floor. Good, and then swing your arm all the way forward. And let's do that again. Inhale, inhale. And as you come through the middle point, start your exhalation. Don't sink into your left shoulder. Your left hand is just helping you. One last time. Opening, rotating, really sinking into that left hip now and coming back in. Place both of your hands on the floor and tuck your left toes. Chest is open. Do not lean your right shoulder into your right thigh. Straighten your left leg. Two more breaths, very active pose, very, very. One more breath. Wonderful, drop that left knee back on the floor, release and right leg goes back. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Warming up nice and gentle, opening things up. This should feel, all of this should feel good. Shifting gently side to side. And once again, lifting that chest. Don't lay on that left thigh. Really no point here. Open things up. Life is good. This time, your right hand stays either on the floor or on the block. And first, foremost, reach and find the space. This space is this openness in your chest, right? This is what you're looking for big, wonderful line in your chest. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then from here, start to drop that left arm, bringing it parallel to your right leg this time. If you don't have that twist in your spine, don't worry about it. Inhale and start your exhalation as you're leading that left arm down and then bringing it forward, forward, forward. This is your inhale, 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 come through the middle point, and we're going back with an exhale. Good, wonderful. One more time, open up, reach, rotate, lots of movement in that spine, and coming back in. Place your left hand on the floor, tuck your right toes, straighten your right leg, and once again, no sinking into your left thigh. Two more breaths. One more breath. Nice, drop, lean, drop your right knee gently and bring that left leg back. Wonderful. So we're gonna start to combine a whole bunch of things. There's only one asana that we have not added to this quite yet. So we're gonna start working on our downward facing dog. You're gonna roll your shoulders back. You're going to open up your chest and your spine is going to be beautifully arched, but try and make it arched without too much effort. Tuck your toes, 
press into your hands as you're bringing your hips back like you're trying to get into your child's pose and then lift. Let's try that again. So what I'm asking of you basically, and I want you to pay attention to that, is I'm not asking you to shift your hips up and then back. I'm asking you to start this movement the other way around. You're shifting your hips back. You're creating that beautiful distance between your hips and your fingertips. You're opening up your chest and you are pressing your hands as you're bringing your hips back. Good. Hopefully that worked. And now we're going to play with pressing our knees, I'm sorry, heels into the floor as our, um, the opposite knee is bent. Just kind of pedaling in place. And again. And again. Good. Now, come on your tippy toes really, really, really high, really high, and start to bend your knees, dropping them under your belly. Pull your shoulders back. Nice, good stretch for your toes here. And shift your hips up again, straightening your legs, and drop your heels down. Let's try that again. Keeping your hips back. Lift up on your tippy toes, start to drop your knees, almost like you're trying to touch your knees to your belly button and your belly to your knees. And lift up again, and once again, we're dropping our heels down. One last time, inhale up, exhale, bend your knees, place your belly on your thighs, inhale up, and exhale, drop your heels down. Good. Very gently start to walk your feet to meet your hands at the front of the mat. Nice. Soften your knees. Look in front of you, pull your shoulders back. Drop your hips a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Good. Press, really press your feet into the mat. As you lift your upper body with your hands at your heart center, this is our chair. Inhale, and with an exhale, lift all the way up. Nice, good. Now, we get to put everything together with a little bit of a changes in our feet. The body is ready, keep your breathing going, relax through your chest. And I want you to get to the point where you are enjoying every moment of this. So we're doing our sun salutation. We're going to take a nice deep inhale and your arms are going to go up overhead. Your shoulders are going to drop, place your hands together and lean back. From here, separate your arms and with an exhale, we're going into forward fold. Back is straight, you're hinging at your hips. Lift up into standing tabletop position. Maybe place your hands on your legs. And from here, soften your knees. Place your hands on the floor. Left leg goes back, right one goes back. Drop on your knees. Roll your shoulders back. Arch your back gently. Chaturanga. Inhale at the top. And with an exhale, tuck your toes. Bend your knees, press your hands with your hips all the way back up, and now straighten your legs. Yes, we are in down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. So this is a three-legged downward facing dog. Your balance has just switched, so please respect that. Look in front of you, bring that right knee forward, and then step your right foot between your hands. If you are stuck midway, don't worry about it. Readjust, reset. While your hands are still on the floor, rotate that left heel so that you've got the entire foot to help you. And lift up into warrior one. We all remember that our warrior one is with both hips and shoulders pointing forward. Settle in here. Go as far with your right knee forward as your left hip and your left hip flexor allow you. Reach, reach, reach your arms. Open up. This should feel like, oh my God, I'm so strong. I'm so comfortable. I'm so confident. And now release your arms back down to the floor. Nice. Right leg goes back. Drop on your knees. 
arch your back gently, inhale, and start to bend your elbows as you go through your chaturanga. Inhale up, we are back in our cobra. And there goes my cap. Inhale, and with an exhale, downward facing dog. Well done, remember. Today we go into down dog, not from our shoulders, but from our knees and hips with, a le with the back pretty arched. Inhale, left leg rises. Once again, note what happened to the balance in your body. And then with a lot of respect for your body, you're gonna bring the left knee forward and then you're gonna step your left foot forward. And we all know it takes a long time to figure out how to do that in one move. Don't worry about it. Rotate your right foot. Find it. It is your foundation. Make sure that both your hips and your shoulders are facing forward as you're lifting up. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Arms are going to be up. And you're going to start to push into your left knee. Gentle. Opening up. And once again, I want this to be a proud, wonderful, this is warrior. This is your warrior, your strong and flexible body. Good. Release your hands. They're back on the floor, arms down, and left leg steps back. Now, if you want to give yourself an extra challenge, feel free to go through your chaturanga on your toes. Otherwise, drop your knees once again, inhale, and with an exhale, down, forward, and up. Nice and beautiful fluid movement. Soften your knees, shift your hips back, and back in down dog. And from here, you're going to start to walk your feet towards your hands. Good. Settle in here. Drop down low enough for you to still be able to touch the floor with the tips of your fingers. Now release that. Press into the soles of your feet. Good. Inhale once again. And with an exhale coming up. Good. Reach out. This should feel so yummy. Yes. And once again, swan dive. Our second sun salutation, this one is going to be a little tiny bit more fun. Lift up once again into your tabletop, readjust your neck and your shoulders, soften your knees, hands on the floor, right leg back, left joins it, drop on your knees, roll your shoulders back, inhale, exhale down and forward. Good. Start by shifting your hips back and unravel into down dog. Nice. Right leg rises. Bring it forward. Smooth. Rotate your left foot. No one is watching. Feel free to really play with how fast you can bring that right foot forward. Lift up. Good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lean slightly forward and bring our arms back. Separate your fingertips. Really, really separate them. So you're using your core muscles here to lean and you're stre stretching your arms behind you. And from here, we're going to release our arms above our head. Horse. Lift your chin. Pull your shoulders back, one more breath. Nice. Lift back up into warrior one. Wonderful. Release your arms back down. Probably lost your breath there for just a sec. Catch it. Bring your right foot back. Drop on your knees or not. And chaturanga. Inhale at the top. Should be easy now to stay in your cobra. Tuck your toes, bend your knees, shift your hips back, and now straighten your legs. Good, left leg rises. Bring your left foot forward. Rotate your right foot. Settle in here, open up. 
We're going to do the exact same thing as we did on the other side. So go ahead and lean forward as you're bringing your arms behind, your palms are facing down, chin is up, fingertips are really, fingers are really, really wide. Lots of energy here through your back muscles. And now bring your arms parallel to your ears and lift your chin. Force. Nice. Lift up into warrior one. Reset. Should feel like it's so much easier now. Bring your arms down. Left leg goes back. Chaturanga on your knees or not. Inhale at the top. And with an exhale, with a bend knees, we go into down dog and we're walking our feet all the way toward our hands. Drop, lift, inhale, and with an exhale. Yes. All right. So two times we did our sun salutation. I hope that you're feeling well. Now we're going to do our moon salutation. As you can see, we're really a lot on our legs today. This is the point. I hope you're going to like this one. And then we're going to go completely on the floor and relax. Lift your arms overhead. Place your palms together. Go ahead and lean to the right side of your body. Everything is open. Take it easy. And now lean to the left side. Keep dropping your shoulders. Be happy about this movement. Come back to the center and lean back. We have done this one already five times. Good. Coming back to the center, place your hands by your chest and step your left foot away from your right. Rotate your feet so that your toes are pointing away from each other while your hips, heels are closer. Start to drop into that beautiful squat and separate your arms. We are in goddess. Good. Wonderful. Breathe. Two more breaths. Open things up. Nice. Lift all the way up. Rotate your right foot. I'm sorry, your left foot toward the screen, your right one away from it. Bring your hips all the way to the left and reach your right arm as far to the right as you can. We're going to find our triangle pose. Nice. It's an interesting sequence. Settle in here. One more breath. Chest is open. Wonderful. Go ahead and rotate. Your left hand finds your right hand. We are in pyramid. Place your hands on the floor. Drop your left knee on the floor. Right knee is bent. If you can afford it, and if your knee is okay with it, you can bring your right knee over your toes. If it's not comfortable, make sure to bring your toes in alignment with your knee. Reach your arms once again up. Arch back. This is your half moon stretch. Chin is up. Good. Release your arms back in. Tuck your left toes back into the pyramid. And from here, release your left arm. Nice. Lift up. Rotate your left heel back in, and we are in goddess. Two more breaths. Straighten. This time your right foot comes to face forward. Left one faces all the way to the left. Release your arms. Bring your hips to the right. Reach with your left arm as far as you possibly can. Drop it down into the trikonasana, the triangle pose. 
breathe. Nice. And reach your right arm down. Rotate your hips. Right hand covers your left. Pull your shoulders back. Soften your left leg. Place your hands on the floor. Drop your right knee on the floor. Same thing here. With If your left knee can afford it, bring it over your toes. If it cannot, shift your toes a little bit forward. Reach your arms up. Find your balance. Arms are nice and straight. It's all about that arch in the back. We have been working on it today all day long. All right, not all day long, but for the past 40 minutes. Chin is up. Good. Release that. We're going to go back. Tuck your toes. Straighten both legs. Forward fold. Right arm goes up. Nice. Ready? Lift, 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 lift. Lift, rotate that right heel in, and we're dropping in our goddess. One more breath. Lift, right foot comes towards your left. Reach your arms overhead again. Inhale to the right. To the left. Feeling a big difference here. And back. And return back to your mountain pose. So that was our little salutation. And hopefully you kind of felt a little bit more comfortable here. Find your way to the floor. The rest of our practice today is going to be on the floor. We're going to relax our spine. We're going to settle in, reach your arms in front of you, round your back so that when you slowly lay your spine on the floor, using your core muscles, of course, you feel how the length between your vertebrae actually is increasing. Very nice. Very beautiful. Wonderful. All right. Keep your knees bent, keep your feet on the floor. We're going to do one more arch here, and that is going to be in our bridge. You're going to shimmy your shoulders under. Once you do that, your chest opens up, your collarbones expand. Your arms are going to be on the floor to help you here, so you need to activate it right away. You're going to arch your spine. So now it is, if I were to pull my shirt, it is now just my table, uh, sorry, our tailbone that is on the floor. My lower back is no longer on the floor. I have arched it. I'm bringing my shoulders further under and I'm pressing into my hands and into the soles of my feet as I start to lift, 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 lift. And from here, very gently release the shoulders, round the top part of your spine, and slowly, one vertebra at a time, you're starting to bring your spine back in until the lower back is fully flat to it and your tailbone is resting. We will do that two more times, same exact thing. If you want to challenge yourselves, when you are on your second and third ridge, Bring your arms overhead. You don't have to. All right. First and foremost, let's arch our back and bring our tailbone out. Second, we're going to rotate and bring our shoulders under. And then we're going to lift. Beautiful. And then from here, if you feel like it, bring your arms overhead. If it's not something you want to practice, absolutely no worries at all. Work on just arching it.
And from here, once again, release your shoulders, round that upper back, and then mid back, and now lower back, and now tailbone. Yes. One more time. You ready? Wonderful. So, tailbone, arched back, shoulders under, chest is open. Inhale and exhale. Good. Very nice. <sighs> Note that your knees are still parallel to each other. Nice. Relax your shoulders. Round your back. And one vertebra at a time. We are back on the floor. Yes. Now we're going to reverse that. If full plow is not part of your practice, please don't force it. What we're going to do instead, those of you who are interested in doing plow, please go ahead and start. What you and I are going to do here is an easy variation. Because the point here is to try and relax through your spine and to round your lower back. So soften your knees, lift your legs. Then we're going to go for a little pendulum here. Go for three, four times. And the next time, legs go all the way over your head. Catch your hips, catch it with your hands. And then very gently lift. Only go as far as you feel comfortable through your spine. Try not to look right and left. Settle in here and just play with the stretch. Maybe bring your hips a little bit higher. Maybe not. Rest them on your hands. Relax through your shoulders. Readjust. And now you can try in this position and play with your knees. So soften your knees and then see if you can straighten them. And soften and straighten. And if you are in full plow, be mindful of your shoulders. Make sure that everything is completely relaxed. Plow is usually done at the end of the day because it is to be said, is said to be rather <laughs> a very calming posture and obviously it is very lengthening to our spine which is always great two more breaths please whatever your position may be when you start to come back down please support your hips support your lower back with your hands good Come to the point where you have placed your tailbone back on the floor, but keep your legs in the air. Good. Place your hands on your knees and gently bring them side to side. Note that your shoulders should be really relaxed here. Your neck is definitely long. Wonderful. All right. Cross your left leg over your right. Your knees are aligned. Left arm is going to go to the left side of your body and you're going to start to bring your legs, your knees, to the right side of your body. We have done a lot of twists and arches today with our spine. I'm sure that you have noticed. You will feel the difference in your posture following this um, practice today. I promise you that. Two more breaths. One more breath. Wonderful. And from here, with minimal effort, really use your arms here to help you return your feet back on the floor. We're starting to unwind. So I want very, very little movement in your core and your spinal muscles. So right one goes now over your left. Your knees are still towards your chest. That part is important because it gives a different angle to the stretch. Right arm is to the side 
and we are dropping our knees. Wonderful. Make sure that everything is working. You're helping yourselves with your left hand. You're either supporting your knees or you're pressing them down. And once again, you're gonna help yourselves with your arms, with your hands, lift. Keep your right knee over your left knee and gently pull them back into your chest. And now slide your hands down towards your toes or ankles and separate them. I hope you can see what I'm asking you in the turn. So right one over left, knees are in, you're sliding your hands down. My right hand is on top of my left ankle and my left one is on top of my right ankle. And then, I'm starting to gently pull the feet apart and knees toward my chest. So where I really want you to feel the stretch is in your right hip. <sighs> and now we're gonna switch. So release that, left leg goes over right. You're gently pulling those knees towards your chest, sliding down your hands, separating them and we are really pulling those knees towards the chest. One more breath. Make it long. Good. Unscrew yourselves. Hug your knees. Pull them again, a little bit with a little tiny bit more effort into your chest, pull your shoulders up, inhale. And with an exhale, go ahead and release everything to the floor. Keep your eyes closed. And we're gonna start to completely relax. probably the first time throughout the day that you get a chance to do that. Taking care of your body fully, relaxing your mind, and just concentrating on making your body as heavy as possible. Your shoulders are heavy. So are your arms. They have worked really hard for you today. Relax through your chest. Your heart rate is slow. Meditative. Your rib cage is really heavy and so are your lungs. Relax through your stomach. Relax your belly. Relax through your hips and through your thighs. Relax your knee, make it heavy. And your shins and your ankles. Now your toes. And we're gonna move up with your calves being really heavy and that area behind your knee. And now your hamstrings and your glutes. And we're going up our spine once again. It is really, really heavy. It's very grounded. It's very relaxed all the way through your neck into the base of your skull. Keep observing your body. Don't move your mind anywhere away. Your head is really heavy. Your cheeks, your chin, your forehead, your eyelids. 
like a wave. Keeps coming and going, making your body relax more and more. Nothing bothers you. This is your moment. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose and just wake up the lungs and your rib cage. Keep everything relaxed and gently roll onto one side of your body. Nice and slow, with the help of your arms and your hands, you're going to lift up into comfortable seated position. Drop your hand somewhere on your knees or in front of you, depending on how you're sitting down. And drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And now from here, gently lift and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Note if there is a difference. Good. And lift your head up. Release your arms up toward the ceiling. Reach, open your eyes. Open, open, open. Place your hands together. Drop them down to your heart center. And thank you so very much for joining me today. I absolutely loved, loved having you. Namaste.